Hi guys, welcome to Royal Attack. As a part of SAP WM training, today we are going to learn about storage bin structure in SAP WM. Storage bin structure. Assume these are racks. Okay, these are racks. So in a storage type, so what is the storage type you have created? VK10. Okay. In VK10 storage type, uh, where does manager saying they have 10 racks? So this is rack number one, rack number two, rack number three, rack number four, rack number five. Rack number six, rack number seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so ten racks are there. So this is a, a forklift bay where forklift can move. Okay, so these are the forklift bays. Please let me know if you have any doubt. Okay, so this yellow colored one are the forklift bay. Like forklift can uh, move from here to here. Okay, in each hills. Okay, this is a movement of forklift. So forklift. Bay. Look, look. So this is a first L, L number one. This is L number two. This is L number three. L number four. L number five. L means the gap between two racks. So once the forklift go here, suppose my forklift is here. So this forklift can pick the material from left side, from R1 rack, from right side, from R2 rack. So the L means the gap between two racks. L means gap between two racks where your forklift can enter and pick the product or put away. So it is not only picking for put away also. So the forklift can put away in left side and right side. So that is L. So we denote with the letter called A as L in a second. The next one is stack. Stack means vertical portion of a rack. Vertical portion of a rack. So if you take a rack, that vertical portion, example, I'll take one uh, figure or diagram. Okay, let me take this. Hmm, let me take this. Okay. So here I have three racks here. One, two, three, three racks. So the gap between these two racks we call as L. So this is the first L and this is the second L. Now this vertical portion 17, 13, 9, 5, 1 is in a first stack. So don't consider this stack 0, stack 0, 2. Now just listen to what I am saying. Okay. So 17, 13, 9, 5, 1 is a first stack. 18, 14, 10, 6, 2 in a second. So this is a Vertical portion of a rack we call as a stack. Okay. Third stack is 21, 23, 25, 27, 29 or in a third stack. So vertical portion is we call as a stack. The next one is level. Horizontal portion of a rack we call as a level. So if you see this diagram, 1, 2, 29 in a first level, 5, 6, 27 in a second level, 9, 10, 25 in a third level. So the, the, the moment you increase the level, your height of the rack is increasing. Okay, so this is in a five levels one, two, three, four, five. So, in warehouse, sometimes you'll have a rack with 10 levels also. If the level increases, your height of the rack will increase. Okay, now I'll tell you the six digit is in what L, what stack, what level. The six is in a first L, second stack, and second level. Can anybody tell 23 uh, in a what L? 23. Guys, first, uh, first L. Uh, L is first L. L1. L1. Uh, then what stack. is the stack? Third stack. Third stack. Third Third stack. stack. Very good. And level? Fourth level. Fourth fourth level. So 23, level yes. 23 digit at the L1, third stack and fourth level. Okay. Now can anybody tell 17 number? All these three. L1, L1. stack 1, uh, level 5. L1, stack 1, level 5. Very good. So now you understood. Okay. So the same thing here also we are going to apply. Now one whereas manager is saying, he is saying total I have 10 L's, 10 stacks and 5 levels. Okay. Total how many L's? 10 L's, 10 stack, 5 level. Okay. And he's saying the bin number starts from uh, VK10. This first four digits with the storage type. VK10 is my storage type. 0, 1 is L. 0, 1 is my stack. 0, 1 is my level. Okay. Now, next. This is a start bin. 
and end bin. So since he is saying total 10 ALC is saying, right? So last L will be 10. Dash last stack will be 10 and last level will be 5. So with this information, can you guess how many bins we can create in a storage type? Can 500. You guess? 500. Yes, 500. How? 10 into 10 into 5. Very good. Right. 10 into 10 into 5. So 500 bins we can create with this structure. So 10 ALs, 10 stacks, and you know, 5 levels. So the bin number starts from VK 10 dash 0 1 dash 0 1 dash 0 1 and ends with this is the last bin VK 10 dash 10 dash 10 dash 0 5. So this first four digits storage type first four digits. Then AL AL. Okay. 0 1 stack stack level. level. This is the yeah, is it also numeric or alphanumerical? So both, both we can take. Okay. So see, multiple things are there. Okay. We can go with rack, we can go with alphanumerical. Okay. Any, anything is possible. So just I'm taking, yeah. yeah, just I'm taking this example. So you can take uh, alphanumerical combination also. Okay. Sometimes instead of this one, they'll go with like an R1, R2, R3. Okay. Like that also. Okay. So this is the cleanest way. So that's the reason I'm taking like this to identify my storage type, AL stack level by seeing itself. Okay. Now, if I say VK 10 dash 04 dash 05 dash 03. So by seeing this bin itself, not physically, I can say this is in a storage type in VK10, this bin, and the fourth L, fifth stack, third level. Okay, so that's the reason we are taking the cleanest way. Now, with this information, we are going to input this information to system, okay, to create the storage. So 500 bins with a single click, I'm going to create. Let's do that. Okay. SPRO, reference IMG, SCM extended various management, extended various management, master data, storage bins, defined bin structure. Click on new entries. So, where is this VKEW? Where is? So, first I'll input start value. Start value is VK10 dash 01 dash 01 dash 01. So, this is the start value. That is what we are taking in our Excel sheet. Okay. Then end value vk 10 dash 10 dash 10 dash 5 so basically 10 ends 10 stacks and 5 levels next increment so my 1 to 10 l means 1 2 3 4 5 okay 1 1 increment is happening so this is happening for only l stack and level not for the storage type so total 5 digits i need to uh, leave because vk 10 dash is a constant one so 1 2 3 4 5 0 1 increment space 0 1 space 0 1 i repeat once again First to four digits is a storage type which is not increasing. It's a standard one and dash is also standard. But 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, L is changing. So that increment is 0. And stack is also changing 0. Level also changing 0. In between, we have a dash. We are going to give one space. Okay. Like so we have uh, constants in WM, right? Yes, yes. This, these are the constants, right? We get in every time it is repeating. Okay, these are the constants. Okay, now, so the structure I'm going to give, what is the structure? I'm going to go with L stack level. These are the identifiers. Just now I said L means A, stack means S. This uh, level means L. So here also, this first five digits are not L stack level. So I leave blank as five digits. One, two, three, four, five. Then AA space SS space LL. Means LL stack stack level level. Okay. 0, 1 to 10. Two digits AA stack. 0, 1 to 10 SS stack level. 0, 1 to 0, 5 LL. So before that, that all five digits are constant. So that is not any identifiers. Next. Template. So first five digits are constant. Every time VK10 dash is going to repeat for all the bins of VK10 storage type. So one, two, three, four, five, five C's mean C constants. After that, I have a number NN. Then dash means again constant. NN. C NN. So my structure is completed. But after that, all I have blanks, blanks again, C's. So total, okay. How many digits? One, five plus two, seven, eight, eight plus two, ten, eleven, eleven plus two, thirteen, thirteen plus five till eighteen. Digits you can create the bin. Okay. Well, can the template. Yeah, template. So this bin VK 10 dash 01 dash 01 dash 01. So for all 500 bins, VK 10 dash is going to repeat. So VK 10 dash is not going to change. So that is a constant. You take any bin of this 500, every bin is going to have VK 10 dash. Okay. So all five digits are not going to change. First five digits. So first five digits are the C. C means constant. Then it's a number NN that is with number 01, 02, 03. This is going to change NN. Then after the dash means constant, C, N, N, C, N, N, C. Suppose if any uh, alphabetical order is there, A, B, C, not numbers, then we are going to take with A. 
identify as an alphabetic numerical so that a we are going to do. here we are taking all numbers that's the reason i took n if it is like you know instead of 0 1 a1 a2 a3 or uh, a1 b1 c1 d1 like that if you want to increase then instead of n what i'll take a a n i'll take because first a1 b1 c1 that is changing but 1 2 3 also changing so i'll take instead of n n i'll take a and n so here all digits are numbers okay so here all i'm taking as numbers on n n don't confuse uh, what if uh, what yeah. if stack is on the n1 n2 like the n n so. uh, which one your bin number are talking about yeah uh, bin number VK a 10, VK, yeah uh. vk 10 n1 like that okay got it got it vk 10 dash n1 dash n1 dash n1 assume that that is one you are taking the next to next a you want to take after n uh you want to chain with the n2 o p q r you want to take or you want to continue only n that is my question next uh, only n only, only n. n then that will be c yeah. that n will be considered as a c why you are not changing n n is a constant but 1 2 3 is changing right i'll put as n so let me take your case you are saying vk 10 dash n1 dash n1 dash n1 okay this is the one you are taking assume so the last one you are saying vk 10 dash n9 dash n9 dash n9 okay in this case see vk 10 dash 1 2 3 4 5 5 all by constant n is also constant you are saying n is going to repeat so that is also constant so c take c 1 to 9 it is changing so that is number dash is c n is repeating that is constant n c c n yeah. c c c you are getting the point so here we can repeat why can c c c at last space at last because we have space right so this okay. space also we are going to consider as a constant okay. so up to 18 digits we can create a bin right so here how many digits we are using 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 up to 13 only we are using so remaining five spaces we are going to define by constant isn't the 20 correct or allowed for storage bin no it is 18 sorry yesterday i said 20 it's 18 only okay okay perfect perfect now uh, what is the uh, one okay the next uh, case what you are saying is vk 10 dash uh, a1 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 and vk 10 dash uh, abc like that assume like i'll take uh, yeah, 10 b1, b1 a b c d e f g h up to h i'll take okay h1 this one also h1 so h1. in this case now can anybody tell me how to mention here how many c's here 1 2 3 4 5 n c's n n n no we should not yeah. take n n hey. why a, uh, a, a, no? because it's not a number a, it's a, an alphabetic yeah it's alphabetic right so you have to take a so this a to h we are going to identify with alphabetic a okay hmm. a n after that again after a, a. sorry c c y c why is c because dash is there okay then a n a. c a n 1 2 3 4 5 so yeah, please observe the difference right? between means so uh, when is a numeric incremental right? you have to take n and alpha numeric is incremental it's alpha uh, incremental you have to take a right yes so so here also i'm changing sorry so not a whatever is the alpha numerical you are using yeah for alpha and, yeah alpha numerical i'm using it. a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 uh, a7 or a1 b1 b2 b3 this is the one uh, let me take here one like this in this case this is also changing instead of taking n i'll take c okay and what if uh, if it is a01 a02 then b01 b02 now a is continuing two times so we, will we use c or a in template so a is repeating how many times you are saying two times twice twice yes a01 then a02 then b01 no that you like cannot this. take like that you cannot take so uh, how system will understand when you are going to stop this a you are saying a01 a02 how system yeah. will understand where you will stop a so either you have to take a b c d like that okay with a1 b1 c1 d1 like that or you have to take take a1 to a10 okay so that is you are going to map okay so just you can go through this combination you can play around as of now you take with all numbers not to confuse even if you want to take this you can play around in the system okay well, even okay. if you are doing some mistake system will show you okay what is the mistake you are doing system will show the error okay about with example uh, what happened with the increment in the other example in the cell okay sometimes uh, sometimes yeah. okay sometimes you want to go with the increment like you know 0 1 0 3 0 5 okay increment is i don't want to use like in some of the variables they want to go with first l third l fifth l seventh l they don't want to go with the uh, even numbers okay assume they have like sentiment they don't want to go with the second l fourth l sixth l they want to go with first third fifth seventh ninth like that okay then your increment will be for the l it will be two not one why we are skipping one right so first then you have to skip one more so it should go to the second one so the increment will be like zero two zero two zero two so your even numbers you can avoid thank you well, okay uh, yeah, can the l be uh, three three digits can, uh, for example uh, instead of zero one uh, a zero one yeah that's what we can maintain here yeah. okay fine so c n is a common we can't able to do x y 
Yeah, C okay. is a constant. So the value which you want to repeat for all the bins that will be considered as a C. So in my case, V K ten dash is a constant for every bin I am going to have V K ten dash. So that's the reason I have taken as C. C is a constant. We cannot use another variable as X and Y. No, no, no. As a standard, we can use the C yes, and N only. Yes, C N and A. A is for your alphabet. Alphabet, correct, correct. Thank you. Okay, so what is it? Can we use V K ten start value and end value is V K twenty? That's your wish. You can create in one asteroid type. But you will confuse. So you are working in a VK10 type all bins. But if you put VK20, system will create. This is identification, right? So you can. So in that, what is going to happen? I am not going to put all five C's. VK10 is a VK is a constant. 10 to 20, you are changing. Means next one is NN. Means CC NN. So 10 and 20 are saying. So your numbers are changing over there. It is not constant. Yeah. Well, just extension to that question. So mm -hmm. template, I understand C A uh, C A N N is what is accepted by the system. If anything else, it will uh, give us a template like you are not supposed to use it, or uh, what will be the error sort of a thing when yeah. we try to save. If we are trying to save, the template is not correct as per the start and end value. Okay. So similarly for structure also, only A S and L is allowed, is it? Or we can uh, put anything. We have two. we have like B also bin depth. Okay. So okay. very rare cases will go with the bin depth. If it is a automatic storage level, uh, this A S R S. Okay. In there we are we are going to use like name face. Very you know. Big automated warehouses. We will go with the depth also. Sometimes your bin will have like you know five uh, pallets depth, ten pallets depth. Okay, there we are going to use B also. Just uh, let me open one more session so that identifier I am going to show you. So I thought it's not necessary since you asked the question. Let me show you SCM extended warehouse management, extended warehouse management, master data, uh, storage bins, define storage bin identifier by uh, storage bin structure. So since you asked. A we can use S as a stack, L as a level. B okay. we can use, D we can use. So bin is a bin subdivision, D is a depth. So sometimes your bin can have some divisions also. If it is a big bin with okay. four to five sections, so I'm going to identify with B. If it is a depth, D. So other than this five, you cannot use any other identifier. Let us okay. So ideally, if my workhouse has another identifier, <coughs> uh, identifier, I go change the config and use that here. Very less chances, very less cases. Okay. Okay. Now we'll keep going on because I can't complete. Okay. So this X Y Z coordinators. This we are going to mention for labor management. Okay, why? So with this X Y Z coordinates, you will understand exactly this bin is at what place in my warehouse. If I'm going to start like picking from my GIs onto this particular bin, so how much distance we are traveling at what direction? So this all information we are going to put it in X Y Z coordinate. This especially we are going to use it in a labor management. As of now, I don't want to restrict anything here. I'll leave it as it is. Now this particular structure I am defining in what storage type? So this I'm defining in a VK10 storage type. In what section? I have a FMS section. In that section, I want to create with what bin type. So I have created V1, V2, V3. Assume all bins are one meter high bin. Suppose assume within the storage type, within the section, I have a multiple storage bin types. So I have some one meter, some two meters. Can we create through this bin structure? No. If all bins are same size, then only we can create. Otherwise, you can leave blank also. But you want to restrict with the H2 type check, then you cannot. Okay, I'll go with V1. All bins are same size in FMS section of V10 storage type. Enter, then save it. So I have given a bin structure to my warehouse, but right, I didn't absolutely. create it. Thanks for watching. For more details, contact to Royal Tech official website and social media links.